I want to address something we sometimes forget, and this is having fun with art. The main reason why we like to paint, draw, sing, dance or play on an instrument in the first place is because it's fun. We like how our brush leaves a bald spot on a canvas, how we can produce different sounds by singing or playing an instrument, or even how the water reacts to us when we swim. Things like this when we see or feel the world react to us, and when we can express our feelings by sounds or movements are really enjoyable and calming. We learn this very quickly when we are young, but as we grow older and become consumed by adult problems, we often forget how to have fun and appreciate things like this. It is in our nature to want to improve and to com compare ourselves with others, and while the need to improve is essential to the actual improvement, it can sometimes become damaging to our mental health. We see others art on social media and some anywhere else, and of course we only notice those who are better and try to paint or draw more like them, but the problem is if we are trying to copy too much and want to think, do things perfectly, we are not actually improving our art, our art. Even when we do a perfect replica of a painting like while our skills do improve by doing so, our mentality and art style is not. And I'm not talking only about painting or drawing. It is important to have skills in any art, but the skills alone are not enough. The skills can let us produce art without mistakes, but they are often missing something which is often referred to as soul, feelings or style. Imagine a dancer who does every move correctly, but with no excitement in her movement or fa facial expressions. It would probably leave a much smaller impact on us than seeing a dancer who swiftly moves with energy and doesn't care about doing a mistake or even falling in the process, because she looks like she's having fun and is confident. Painting is similar. Even though you can't see the painter when you look at an art piece, you can, feel, you can often feel in what kind of a mindset they were while painting it. You can see confident brushstrokes, bold colors, or on another hand see no real problems with the piece and you may even find it beautiful but it still doesn't speak to you or inspire you. Those are often the ones the painter was being too careful of not making a mistake and was so consumed by it, he didn't even enjoy putting color on the surface. It is very easy to fall into this process of not having fun anymore because of the fear of making a mistake and being judged for the failure. failure. When I film the processes of mind painting, I often do this because I am concerned of screwing up and not being able to make a video out of it, but I have been noticing all the pain paintings I make in this manner of not wanting to ruin them lack something, they are a bit boring. I often prefer the paintings I start as experimenting. If you are an oil painter, you are probably familiar by doing the underpainting very quickly and loosely and liking it a lot. And when you carefully try to finish it with more layers and spend a lot more time on them, you don't like the finished result as much as you did the underpainting. I am personally still trying to find a balance between those two and have been focusing on painting more loosely and not trying to be super accurate in the past few weeks and I am noticing my latest works have a similar feel to it which I think is my style at the moment. Painting loosely which is without worrying about the details or being super accurate on where a bar stroke or lines go can create amazingly inspiring results, but they can also create crappy paintings. But it doesn't really matter if you are really failing and produce something bad because producing this kind of art when we do things based on our mood and don't worry about the end result and society rules and if others will like it 
can be really rewarding. Similar approaches to drawing are becoming very popular in art therapy done by psychologists because it has been showing very positive results on our mind, especially in being more aware of ourselves and our emotions, causing us to understand others and the nature more. And art therapy done even by people with no art experience whatsoever has apparently showed apparently showed major improvements in self-confidence and feelings of being more accomplished. It is showing similar positive effects on mind as sports. And it is important to note that the visual result of the creation does not matter at all. What matters is the process which lets you create and is incredibly enjoyable. Another thing that often prevents us from enjoying art is not wanting to waste our precious materials. But art materials can be crazy expensive, believe me, I know. You probably don't want to waste them because you could hardly afford them and feel like doing something like this is useless. But the thing is that it isn't useless at all. In this state you're exploring your own style and letting go of all the restrictions of your mind caused by the fear of being judged by society. If you really can't afford them, just use some pencils especially and add a watercolor part. You probably already noticed, but I love the vibrant colors. You can see my other new paintings on my website. I will include the link in the description below. For now, it is created with Wabbly because it is free and easy to use. As always, thank you very much for watching and listening to me.